guys, what's up, bro here. So I haven't done a more personal video in a while, so I thought I would do 10 more random facts about me that you probably may or may not already know. Um, I did one previously, it's probably been almost a year, I'll link it in the description box below. If you have any questions about any of the random facts that I list about myself, you are more than welcome to ask and I will try to reply. So uh, let's get started. So number one, I have, I think a lot of girls maybe are like this, but I have a thing about lip gloss and lipsticks and lip balms. Um, just to kind of show you, I got two of these. This one's covered in makeup because it was my makeup bag. They're just like the EOS lip balm. They're quite amazing. Um, so that's two right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And this isn't even all of the ones that I own. This is just what I was able to find in my purse and on my desk. I tend to keep lip, lip gloss on my desk because constantly reapplying it because, I don't know, I like it and I like my lips to be nice and soft, I guess. I don't know. Probably my favorite ones that I have are these baby lips. I have four of them currently. Um, they're really awesome, so I highly recommend getting them if you're looking for a lip gloss. Number two, I also have an obsession with notebooks. Um, these are just the ones that are near that I keep near my desk. Um, I use them for this one actually has a harvest on it for just writing notes down. Um, for like rating, like there's like some horde on stuff and a random eyeball that I scratched out. I use them for doodling, like there's a bunch in this one. I think this one has like TOT stuff in it too. Um, just like random sketches and stuff and a bunch of other crap. And this one I got recently, so there's not as much in it. Um, any YouTube notes that I have. Um, this is another one that I got recently. And here's another one. This is one of my old ones. There's just like the... Where did it go? The necklace I'm wearing right now, I actually created one out of clay. Um, this one's the one just from the collector's edition of Tomb Raider. But yeah, I have a lot of notebooks. And this one I got recently because I've been trying to draw every day. Um, so there's some sketches and stuff in there. Um, some that got ripped out. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to draw every day, so this is what this is for. But most of the notebooks I have are just for random notes or just sketch designs, or just kind of whatever is on my mind at the time, I guess. I just really like notebooks. I don't know why. I just, I just do. Number three, for those that probably didn't already know, I am a huge Buffy fan. I got into the show in like junior high, I think, and I still watch it sometimes. I, I don't want to grab it because I'm afraid I'm going to knock everything down, but I have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the making of the Slayer book. I have all the seasons except for like two on DVD. Um, I have a bunch of shirts, and I just, I love the show, it was like my first, the first show that I watched that was, you know, like vampires, and like sci-fi type of stuff, and fantasy, and it kind of spiraled everything else into it, I guess. Number four, I've mentioned before that I was an art student, I was a graphic and web design major, but I also have an interest in photography, which is why I got this DSLR camera, although it kind of doubles for my videos, but thought I would show you some of my photos from class specifically. And these were all taken with a 35mm camera and then we had to develop them ourselves through the computer and all this other crap. But this is a graveyard, because I'm weird. And then whoop, here's some other stuff. We got a, a lake. Uh, the lake again. We had to I forget what we had to do. We had to like experiment with one of these. I really want to put a lot of these in frames and hang them. Um, the cat is my roommate's cat at the time. The tree. And we had to play with perspective, so that's a bench. Bridge. There's the tree again. Oops, we'll pretend that didn't happen. But yeah, I have a bunch of other photography pieces too. Um, our final project, we had to create a series uh, photos that coincide with each other, and I did something that I called the murder series, um, where one of my friends played dead, and yeah, a guy basically stalked her and then killed her, and I took pictures of it. 
it sounds really weird. The pictures are really cool, though. They're on my actual portfolio, but yeah, so photography is fun. I like to, I would like to do more photography than what I do currently. Like, I have a DSLR camera, and I mainly use it to record myself babbling. Like, I keep meaning to go to the beach to take photos, but I haven't yet. Number five, I mainly play Alliance and World of Warcraft, but if you've ever noticed, like, my background and stuff, I tend to own more, more Horde stuff. Like, I have this little doll thing here. Um, I have my Horde crayon, crayon art thing. Let's see if I can get down. The melting crayon thing that I made, um, like, almost a year ago. I'll link the video, maybe, in this box or something. I also own two Horde shirts, I think, or one Horde shirt and an Alliance shirt, but the Alliance shirt... Jinx sent me the men's size and says the women's looked like really big on me. Um, but yeah, I keep meaning to buy more line stuff. I also have a phone case, um, which I used to use on my phone, but I was afraid my phone would fall. Or it kept falling, so some of this is a little broken, but I need to get like an alliance one too. But I don't know why I own more hoard stuff. I just, I just do. Whatever. Who cares? I like both factions. Sorry. Number six, I am easily bored, easily amused, and easily distracted. If you've ever tried leveling with me in WoW, which... I'm sure my boyfriend will see this video and chuckle. I tend to tab out a lot. It, like, it takes a lot for something to keep my focus. Even just watching a movie is really difficult because I'll see someone in a movie and I'm like, I wonder who that is. And then I like Google them and I spend like the entire movie spouting out facts about the movie. Um, <laughs> oops. So yeah, easily bored, easily distracted, and easily amused. Number seven, I have a love for cop shows, although I don't watch them as much as I used to. I used to love watching like Law and Order, Law and Order SVU, and just even just like the real life cop shows where it was like um, they would talk about like the case and the process of it. Like I just I loved watching that stuff. I still watch it a little bit, but not as much as I used to because I don't really watch TV. I usually watch TV on my computer, like on Hulu or Netflix or whatever. Um, I actually considered pursuing a career as a cop, well, a homicide detective specifically, or an FBI agent at one point. Obviously, that didn't happen, but, um, yeah, that was kind of my plan at one point. Number eight, I wear contacts. You can't tell because, you know, they're in my eyeballs, but I wear glasses and contacts, and I've been wearing glasses since, I think, my junior year of high school, um, we realized that I started to need glasses because I was having trouble reading the board. I have really bad eyesight. My boyfriend, who's older than me, has better eyesight than me, which I think is just not fair. But you can't really tell that I wear contacts. Um, a lot of people think I wear contacts, and they think I wear colored contacts because they don't believe my eye color is my eye color, but I swear it's mine. I swear it! Um, but yeah, I wear glasses and contacts. I'm negative five in both. At one point they were- but I need to get a new prescription because some stuff is still alert, but I can't see long distances, um, so up close I'm, I'm good to go, but like really far away I'm like, nope, don't know what that is, it looks blurry as fuck. Number nine, I've never been considered a closet nerd, I've always been pretty open about the things that I like, I've never um, hid it from other people because I was never embarrassed that I liked anime growing up and that, you know, I liked video games and all that stuff, you know, people would sometimes make fun of me for it, but I was kind of just like, whatever, I don't care. A lot of the friends that I had growing up were into the same stuff that I was in. Um, I'm still into a lot of that stuff and I just, I think it's silly to like hide it from people. It's an aspect of my life and it's something that I like and if people don't like it then who cares? Number 10, I graduated high school in 2004 and we actually just had our 10 year high school reunion which makes me feel really old. Yes, I am 28. Yes, I know I don't look it. Yes, I know you probably thought I was like 18. I'm sorry. I'm not. Um, yeah, it makes me feel a little old. I did not go because um, it was on like a Sunday, which is kind of awkward and between traveling there and stuff, it like it just didn't coordinate with my schedule. I might go to the 20 year reunion, but I highly doubt it. Um, with things like Facebook nowadays, I kind of know who got pregnant and who got married and who got divorced, so I feel like going to reunions really not that exciting. Maybe I'm just weird. But those are my 10 random facts about me. I hope you liked them or maybe you learned things you didn't want to know i don't know but if you have once again if you have any questions about anything that i mentioned you are more than welcome to ask in the comment section below and i will answer them so i'll talk to you guys later we are having a good day and goodbye hey guys thanks so much for watching this video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i think the button's somewhere down there uh also don't forget to give the thumbs up comment if you have anything you want to say 
and be sure to check out my previous video and again don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the next video bye